uh, rocking the Falco versus Delirium on his Marth. Now, Shanye is quite. Shanye is quite versed in his Marth matchups, facing some of Ryerson's Marths and some of just Ontario's Marths. We looks like we're going to get underway soon. And yeah, that was just a hand warmer set, so we're getting ready to get started here. Yep. There we're leading with Shanye, one of our best Falcos we have at Ryerson University. Ladies and gentlemen, we are game for set number one. We got Marth versus Falco. Falco. So, um, what are we looking to see here from Shanye? All right, well, Sean, in general speaking, really has to make sure he doesn't get caught by Marth. Obviously, it's a really high-pressure kill setup type, type situation. Right. Uh, Marth can get uh, a lot of kills off of, obviously, very little Ooh, work. He signed on laser. Ooh, I think he was nice. trying to turn it around, but Delirium. The jitters the definitely pressure. change the way the players play, but oh, it looks yeah, like... Oh, yeah, misses, uh, misses the arrow the wave line there. Shanye with nice quite a off stage. tower to climb takes the first... Sorry, excuse me. Delirium takes the first stock. But one stock is not a lead, as uh, we know at Ryerson. But uh, Delirium definitely making a case for himself, showing off that he oh, yeah, is really not. Great he's very versed in the Falco setup, or the Falco matchup, sorry. Indeed, indeed. Ooh, just missed that. Oh, read the, the grab. Yeah, reads the world. Ooh, gets it. Or smash. That's a devastating down already, unfortunate. Delirium looking like he's trying to steamroll all over Shanye, but definitely not out. Don't count Shanye out. He definitely has what it takes to climb back. We got some some crazy neutral Ooh, games, a nice, nice stage, hit. Thanks. Oh, laser hits. And I think that should be it. Yep, there we go. Grabs a stock, and that's first stock. Shanye trying to grab his composure again. Yeah, they're... Trying to claw his way back, get center stage control, but Carlton University trying to stuff Falco and make sure that they don't get more of a claim than that. We got some yelling and screaming from the Ryerson crew. Indeed. Well, I said that's, that's part of what crew battles that brings out uh, the, the truly competitive side of uh, even the spectators. Truly you know I mean? competitive. I mean, we were just yelling and screaming yeah. and trying to <laughs> jaw each other. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But see, this is, the, this is the really beautiful thing here. Like, Falco can be able to get back into the match really easily off of some really right. strong Ooh. combos like that. Oh, just misses the forward tilt. Ooh, nice excellent back there. And Shania. just like that, already off stage. Shania looking like oh, he caught his second edge guard, unfortunately. He tried to jump twice there, you saw that? Right, yeah, and that's right. the ledge, unfortunately. Oh, forward smash will connect, nice. though. And so we saw him two stocks down, but now he's already evened it back to even stocks. Yep. However, Delirium does have a 100% stock lead. Shiny with excellent DI, just keeps it alive. Watch out, the Martha Artist can kick in here. Won't be able to get those kills as easily anymore. Yep, we got to. Yeah, strategically goes top platform. Already putting some more combos in. Shanye playing like he's going. We got the crowd hype going crazy. Both Carlton and Ryerson screaming Ooh, for nice their respective players. Nice up getting pressure off. Retreating up to the other plat platforms. Ooh, whips a forward smash. Tries to go for the Johnny, sorry, Randy forward smash. Oh, goes for those standing there from Marth. No. Oh, he hits him with, with a nair. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Shanye eats a nair, but it's. This is looking really, uh, really high tense situation. I can't ma imagine the jitters. Ooh, Ooh the random force. Oh, oh. wow, misses everywhere. Oh my goodness. Gets the grab from behind. Oh, Shanye doesn't go for his ticket. Shanye, but he gets a dumpster, and this nice. is still. This is a one-stock game. This is be anyone's game. Ryerson's hype. Carlton's hype. Only a couple percent ahead. Oh, the four. Oh my goodness, the comes and the lead is gone, and now it's very much even game. One stock apiece. Oh, we got the crazy reads and the reads. Oh my goodness, Shanye. Absolutely incredible. What read. is going on? People are hype. You got Monique popping up. Smiling, you got Ryerson smiling. Popping like up. He's smiling. He's moving. A little smirk to the camera. Oh my goodness, what a comeback. Smiling like he got away with murder G -G -G, right there. He definitely. Sean was like, man, I was down two stocks back there. He definitely game. <laughs> went on the replay. He gets a pop off, gets a, a nice little strong up, and he's hyped. Sean Ye putting Ryerson ahead by one stock. And you hear that, the crown is screaming for us. Streaming. Absolutely amazing. They are cheering for Shanye 100%. Shanye keeping it cool and composed. Excellent job. Definitely, we don't want to brush off Delirium, who had an excellent strong start. Um, but Shanye was just able to edge it out at the end. So, uh, yeah. Looking pretty crazy. Yeah. So, we're now trying to figure out who uh, they're going to send up next. Apparently, it's Shifu. 
So Shanye against Shifu. Yeah, and, and as we as we saw there, like Falco can make a lot happen with just one stock, right? We can we can uh, we can see some things happen here, especially with Shanye, someone who's really talented with those combos. You know what I mean? Shanye is on his X Factor right now. He's yeah. uh, level three X Factor. Level three X Factor. <laughs> Where wins Marvel? Wins Marvel. <laughs> My face win. My face win, dude. Uh, that's right. This is winner's quarters, double elimination. So uh, the whole just stomp this entire bracket is gone, you know. Yeah. You still have to face Waterloo uh, in case. Um, so it's a double elimination of a single elimination. Shania taking a sip, trying to hold himself back, cooling himself down All from right, that hot set. Shofu playing a strong fox. Shofu? Shifu, you mean? Shifu, I'm so sorry. Shofu. Uh, Man, who's Shofu? Plays po uh, he plays Pokemon. Oh, does he? Yeah, I think so. Man, never heard of him. I think we have one minute hand warmers. Um, I think that's fair. Yeah, yeah, of course. One well, minute or 30 seconds. Again, like, uh, it, it obviously benefits uh, the uh, the player coming in most, obviously, having to watch your, your teammate and having right, a couple right. seconds to, to cool off his momentum, you know? Absolutely. It's, oh, it's we got some cool. coaching from with the one, the only, arguably, the world's greatest Luigi player, Monib. He said so himself. He said so himself. He said so himself. So it has to be true. He's a Games coaching advice. Now Monib is. Someone's asking us if we watch that as if we, we have nothing else to look at. Like, what? <laughs> Get out of here, dude. We now, got time. We got time. <laughs> We're on press for time. Now Monib is, is a really talented Luigi player. For those of you who don't know, that's the guy sitting, sorry, standing right behind Shani. I'll give you some tips right now. He's really experienced in a lot of matchups and has a really great mind on the game in general. So I can only Absolutely. imagine that he's giving him some tips for this matchup. Perhaps even like uh, personal, personal advice towards yeah. Shifu if, he, if he's played. Perhaps if he's played Shifu, we can give up on some reads and let him know about tells. Indeed, uh, indeed. Carlton University uh, previously was playing Smash 4 and was absolutely hyped. Uh, this is looking to be the quite possibly the loudest the loudest set you'll probably hear. Yeah, it might, yeah, it, it very it, well it, could be. It, because it, it leaks into the mics anyway, so we got some crazy uh, hype. And uh, it's good to see the Ontario, you know, the Toronto scene grow and go crazy and hype like this. Oh, and show, yeah, really show Super up. Super hype about yeah, this. Exactly. Here we go, we got the dash going into Dreamland and... Kamikaze three times, let's see this. Yeah, we gotta see this. Oh. Nice down air. Here go, getting it down. Excellent, excellent job. Oh my goodness, how do you do it? What do you, right, call, that? What do you call that move? I know, right? <laughs> Two, one. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see what Shawnee can do with one stock and see if Shifu can close it out one to make it even. One stock and a dream. Even taking one stock here is putting a huge advantage for Ryerson. Ryerson and absolutely. Shifu needs, to put this, yeah. Shifu needs to put this away really quickly. Oh, nice reads. Shifu trying to do that just now, but... Briar, uh, Shania not making it easy. You got that phantom shine. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Any lead he'll take. Ooh, gets hit with a fire fox. fire fox. Faster than Chrome. <laughs> anyway, no bias, no bias. Oh, he gets a nice snare. Gets inside B. Oh, Shania trying to fish for that up B. Trying to go. He's definitely at a first stock deficit. Any strong hit. Ooh. They're both at kill percentage. Any mistake could be any player's dream. Yeah, Shifu needs to put this away right now. If he gets the kiss kill, the percentage doesn't matter. Yeah, that's true. Shania trying to find a, find a one stock. Gets a spot dodge. They're both so Peppering close to death. Lasers. Next neutral hit. Ooh, gets the empty job. Oh, but oh, this could be that looks like it. it. Yeah. It is it. Excellent job by Shifu closing out the stock, evening yeah. it out for Carlton University. Shania laughing it off. Knows that he could have made one or two schmoves, as he likes to call it, but unfortunately, not the case. Shifu, excellent job, puts Carlton back even with 16 stocks exactly. apiece. Exactly, it's so crucial to make sure that you don't choke in those situations and right. you keep your team together, right? right. Because he effectively heals almost 130 percentage just by winning that one set. That That's one right, stock, yeah, yeah. Right? If you think of it like that, it, you can really see how important it is to really stay alive in these situations. Next up, we have uh, Brett. Oh, um, we can just go on that. So yeah, next up we have our resident. Oh my goodness, I can believe both. We have Asterisk. Asterisks, uh, our Marth player, someone Shanye wishes, I mean, someone Seba wishes he was. Uh, a Marth on the team, on the rest of the team, shout out. 
Uh, we have that 2%. Oh, there's hand warmers. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, hey, yeah, that's definitely hand warmers, yeah. Turns my right. a bit as so, they go through their paces. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah. Not much information gained from Shanye's. Uh, I don't know how much information Asterisk can gain from uh, his match with Shifu, but it looks like they're ready to get it on. I wonder if they'll actually strike to uh, Yoshi's. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, well, let's see how, see how it goes. He has to choose. It's only Yoshi's, so it in, is, yeah. yeah, it is indeed. I'd go there too. Go. And on the word go, let's see who gets that into Shrieks Control. Nice up there there. Solid hits from Shifu, trying to keep center stage so that Marv can't utilize his long... Uh, Missing these crucial up tilts, unfortunately. What's the thing he uses to hit his opponent with? Uh, sword. Sword. I, oh my goodness, I blanked out on sword. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, sword. Marth basically covers the entire stage with his long sword. Gets an up smash. Just barely living, though. He got this. He got strong DI. Will... He still has a jump. He still has a jump. He's still fine. He does. He, yeah, he does. He's still living. Ooh, this is a bit more dangerous. No Ask Randall. It. No Randall. Well done by Shifu there. Randall looking Asterix. absolutely gone, but that's a first stock. Carlton in the lead, 15 to 16. Nice grab there, punishing the Nair. Ooh, misses the timing on the forward smash. Asterisk needs to clean up a little bit, but Shifu looking to swarm all over Asterisk. Gets those up throw up, sit, up, throw up airs. Ooh, nice Dragon Ball Z there. trade. Does not look good favor for Ryerson, but, oh my goodness. Asterisk really looking lost, nice but gets a nice smash. solid tipper. He gets a nice monster tipper to even it out, but Shifu's still in the percent lead, but this could be turning around for Asterisk. Yeah, I got a really solid grab combo there. Hopefully, he can Ooh, gets up smashed. Unfortunate. Another solid up smash there by uh, Shifu. Yeah, this is definitely probably the most rowdiest uh, of sets. I definitely agree. This is definitely one of the rowdy ones. Both Carlton and Larson. Oh my Amazing goodness, he gets shine. Spike. Shifu does get the nice spikes. Okay, so Astro's trying to climb it back, trying to claw his way through. Oh my goodness, he goes for the Spanish Inquisition and does not land. The Spanish Inquisition is, by the way, the fourth hit of the side B from any uh, Fire Emblem character in melee. Gets the, utilizes the platforms nicely. Nice gets trade. Nice back nice. air. We take those trades. Oh my goodness. Asterisk screams behind him. He says he got this. Will he though? Shifu looking like he needs to take one stock. Gets the up through up air. Once again, oh. gets a second hit. Goes for the lasers. Misses all of them though. Ooh, okay. So we got Randall being a homie. But does not take it. Carlton. Unfortunate. The landing lag is a little too much Shifu there. Shifu does take into the count. Now this is really dangerous. The momentum is so important here. There's already two stocks down. Yeah. Shifu did extremely well there. I wonder who they'll send. If I were Ryerson, I'd Shifu's, send out... Shifu's now Ooh. at... Shifu only has... Still has half his stocks remaining. He's already taken five stocks. That's pretty incredible. Yeah. Shifu definitely uh, looking like he's going to carry some bit... He's definitely done some damage to Ryerson. Ryerson needs to even it out with their own powerhouse or go for a safe and go for Brett with his Samus. Exactly. No, no Brett is really comfortable with Samus, and it, and, and it is a, a rather unorthodox character. A lot of people really don't have much experience in the Samus right. matchup. So it, it's something that you could use to theoretically stabilize this bleeding wound. You know what I yep. mean? <laughs> to put it in lack of better words, a bleeding wound. Because Ryerson is indeed in quite a pickle, and Carlton University looking like they want to make this run as clean as possible. Well, see, that, that's, 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 a, that's a really cool part of how the strategy comes into play, too, right? Because if, if, as, they, as Shifu keep taking out people, they can then save their, their counter picks for later on, right? If, yeah. if they know they have someone to stop, for example, Muneev, uh, a very prominent Luigi player, and they have someone who's really comfortable in that matchup, and they can then save them for later, you know? That's that's a, a really big part of the, of the crew battle. And we're sending strategy. in one of our dark horses, one of our powerhouses, uh, Lewis, a.k.a. Lou, Lou L3W yeah. exclamation point. Uh, so he's an Ice Climbers player of great renown, does really well at our weeklies. Yep. Uh, he's a very consistent player, yeah. I, I do have to say, overall. And so, uh, he doesn't his... lose to just anyone. He has to be uh, someone of around his level or higher caliber. Exactly. And so uh, I think it's actually a really great choice here because he could, he could easily take these stocks back. It's only two stocks. Ice Climbers, obviously, wobbling is in, the, yep. is in play. It's, wobbling is in play. Like, getting two grabs, that's all he really needs here, right? So we can see it even right back out the same way that Shifu did earlier. Yep. Looks like we're going to go to, yep, yep. FD is definitely the scariest place to be in. 
We got hand warmers. Lou is hand warming his ice climbers, indeed, indeed. which is which sounds very uh, backwards because yeah. they're icies. Yeah. Don't you want to mountain freeze? climbers? Oh, yeah, mountain yeah. climbers here in Canada. I think it's appropriate. Oh, of course. Um, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> I was trying to transition into something. I kind of messed up on that one. But we got no, hand warmers. No um, yep. So, here we go. All right. Uh, it looks like they are going to go to Final Destination off of uh, Lewis's pick. Obviously a great choice. Like, uh, many many people who know the matchup, you, you really do have the platform camp ice climber sometimes, right? Yeah. So you have it makes a lot of sense to go to Floor is lava. Yeah, yeah, floor is lava. But uh, now everything's lava. So, do you want to deal with uh, ice climbers? Or do you want to do with the floor's lava? That was so All bad. right, and we are off. All right, sorry. <laughs> All right, so Shifu looking to separate the two, and he does so right away. Immediately, not already down. The wiggling is gone. But Lou's uh, Sopo, definitely underrated. He knows his way around the Fox matchup anyways, playing people like Platt. Uh, but we'll see what um, what Shifu can do now that Sopo's gone. I mean, yeah, so that Nana's gone, he has a, a lone Sopo. Shifu now at five and a half stock, so to speak. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> technically. Oh, gets a nice down smash, goes for the forward smash read, does not get it. Very dangerous spot here. Blue. One shine away, smash, up smash, nice, nice cross DI. Goes for a second. Oh, okay. Yeah, really great, makes it very drift it one way, drift it back. Ledge option, takes it out. That's six stocks now for Shifu. Shifu definitely opening the wound, putting the salt a little deeper, so to speak. Lou trying to grab that wobble, putting the momentum back. I think he's fishing for the wobble, but careful for Lou not to keep looking for it. That's another dead Nana. Nana dead again. Shifu's apparently very skilled at the matchup, doing really well, already killing Nana twice with minimal effort. Yeah, all he took is one shine in an offstage blip. Lou trying to piece it back together. But Shifu just He's playing moving. the matchup so smart too. He knows he's he knows he's already he's already done his, his job for his team. Yeah. Every everything he gets now is just extra gravy, you know he's what just I mean? Free for him, yeah. This is not looking too good for Ryerson if nice this back is, air. Nice back air this again. This could be it for Lou. He's grabbed the ledge and yeah, it's gone. Seven stops. That is insane. Shifu definitely putting mileage onto this Carlton squad. Yeah, if you think about it, one more stock, he's already eliminated two players worth of things. And he hasn't even lost one of the, just lost his first stock. Yeah, that's his first stock out of seven. We could very well see Lewis get eliminated here, and that would be... That's, it's possibility, but I really don't want to see it happening. Shifu, Shifu's good. Oh, oh my Nana. goodness, Nana trying to hold it back together. Oh my goodness. Nana almost did a freeze glitch by herself. Yeah, there. again. Oh, we got the wobble breakout. Off the wobble. Double forward smash, good shielding. Looks like Lewis is slowly trying to piece it back together. It could, this could be the stock to solid do it. Read, solid read there. As long as he's able to do this, gets a nice great forward job, smash, job, and that's great game. Job, great job. Got to hand it to Shifu through that, handling Shifu. that much pressure. He fought three different players there. Yeah. He did well against all three of them with minimal time between each of them. Excellent job by Shifu. Definitely putting mileage for the Carlton squad, but Lou is like, he is the surgery quick. There was a huge deep wound. And Lou definitely was like the quick stitch fix up. The band aid. Yeah, he was the band aid solution. <laughs> All right, there we you go. We got band aid solutions. There we go. Oh my goodness. I need a drink. Iced tea, by the way. Unstoppable, by the way. All right, so. So Lou definitely, uh, Mooney giving Lou some, uh, some breathing points, definitely calming him down. Uh, yeah, and see that that's the thing. He's now two stocks down, but Loom has to remember his stocks mean a lot. If you get those grabs, it's a full stock trade. Absolutely. You can trade up, you know? And that's that, right. And like I said, we're now, what, two stocks down? Yeah, we're two stocks down, which is, uh, honestly, I thought we had a bigger deficit. It looked like a well, much Well, because Shifu deficit. carried so hard, right? Because Shifu came in, well, evened it up, out, yeah. took a lead, and then And, then, and then extended the lead. Extended the lead, yeah, exactly. So, yeah. We're going to Dreamland, which is not something Icy's want to play at because they're not used to forest environments. Whereas <laughs> Princess Peach in Tulsa <laughs> Kingdom, surrounded by uh, forestry and greenery, 
knows oh, yeah. much it, about the yeah home field advantage. You know, absolutely home field advantage. She knows all the hidden, hidden all the you hidden know, platforms. Man's not, man's not hot. Oh. Ice climbers don't want to take off the jackets, dude. They need to because this matchup's not looking too good. Yeah, it, it obviously is, is stated that uh, Peach is an infamous counter pick to Ice Climbers, obviously. Yeah. Uh, what we're interested in, though, is whether or not this Ice this Peach player was uh, is familiar with like playing Peach, or do they just picked it as a counter pick? Like, right, easy, right. It's an easy That's counter pick. Right. Well, we'll have to see how, that, how this goes. Matchup knowledge definitely outtakes um, counters. Counters, yeah, for sure. Because you could play Roy. You, you could, and, you and could play lose. Roy. And, uh, and, and, and still win, you mean? You still, well, yeah, 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 sorry, sorry. I'm like, I'm like what, what character does Roy counter? <laughs> <laughs> very true, very true. All right, here we go, guys. It sounds like the Ryerson crew is quite silent. Indeed. Well, uh, it's a very high stress situation. Earlier. Two stocks already down. Absolutely, but I'm sure as soon as Lou gets a wobble, they're going to pop off and go nuts. Well, you know, it's the most hyped thing in Melee. <laughs> Blue right. is going to SD twice off stage with a nice spin attack. Yep, of course. And let us begin. Three, two, one, go! Both teams still in high spirits, looking like the Ethan team can take it. Man. In terms of colors, what do you think Peach's uh, tier colors is? All right, well, first, obviously, you have the Bride Peach, right? White bride Peach. Peach. Oh, okay. Yeah, right, right. Not so. Armada's uh, Vanilla Peach? No, no, no. See, see that, that's, like, that's like, oh, amazing. Yeah, we got to put a pause on this because... Oh, nice there. Okay, we got Sopo versus... So the grab is gone because of the, the blender, the unfortunate blender that uh, Peach hides in her dress along with toads and turnips. Oh, well, turnips she pulls from the ground, but... Definitely pulls a pull toad the same place you put the blender in. But that's another hit. That's a ooh, Lou trying to survive, trying to hit another. Will he live? No. Lou trying to. Lou hey, definitely pause, smiling. Though. Yeah, he understood that. Uh, he tried to make it a uh, 200 IQ recovery, but uh, unfortunately, it's not the case. It looks like um, Kuhn is on his peach is trying to pull out something. Oh, the blender trying to do wonders with the back airs. But right now, Peach is at kill percentage. But with this stage, ooh, my goodness, the blender strikes Game again. hits there from the down smash. Lou trying to piece it together, but oh, he gets the grab. Will he control it? He will translate it into a no. Peach is still living, and that's it why Dreamland, yeah. that's why Green picked this picked this stage because of the small. Oh, nice pickup, and that's an excellent kill. Eleven to nine is still not bad. Um, definitely doable for Ryerson. But Lou looking to try to take any extra stock. This could be it. Nana will not be doing it. And Lou takes one stock. Kuhn takes it for uh, Carlton University. Excellent job. Now it is dangerous, of course. Remember, as the, as the as the stocks go down, even though it's still only a two stock difference, the, the amount of chance you have for comeback quickly evaporate. You know That's what right. I mean? So even though the difference is still the same, it's a lot more dangerous now, right? Because you yep. can't make as many mistakes. Like having 10 stocks versus 8 stocks is still very different, right? So you have to be yep. very careful here. Will we send in our ace? Or will we send in the... Oh, we're sending in our ace. All right. Monib, Monib, looking. Monib has had enough. Monib, okay. We're looking to... Look. And you know, this, this could be a morale play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He, needs, he needs to come in here, show Ryerson that we still have a chance. We're not two stocks down. Yeah. If he takes... He can take, even, even, even the lead. He can do show that we this is still winnable. Absolutely, Monib is. If you for some reason don't know who he is, Monib is gonna rock the M God tag as that's who he is. Monib, he's gonna rock it to Battlefield. Uh, Monib is the premier Luigi main in, in Ontario, Toronto, for sure. Ontario. 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 There's no one Canada. else. Canada. Canada. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure about Canada, but definitely Ontario. He definitely uh, puts strikes fear into players' hearts with his. Uh, it is Luigi. Definitely an unorthodox character. Apparently, the story behind it is that um, Rain X yeah. uh, told Monib to just, why don't you just play Luigi if you like his fluidity so much? And then he was like, all right, he took it to heart. And Monib just ran with it. And now he's Arguably a one very, of the best Luigis of all time. Yeah. One of the scariest Luigis to play off. And as um, if you haven't seen Monib's uh, playoff, uh, sorry, not playoff runs, but uh, his, um, his crew battle runs, Monib is definitely a monster in these matchups. He definitely, like, he loves to put his uh, foot down and definitely demolish teams. Like, he will eat Spacey's for breakfast. He will eat any character for breakfast. Indeed. 
And now it, it is a good point to point out as well that like wh whereas uh, a lot of Peach players, it, it's really easy to crouch, cancel down, smash, say a Spacey or a fastballer. Right. Uh, it's facing a facing a Luigi. It's not something a lot of them, a lot of Peach players have really had to do. Yep. And not to mention if they go to a to say a stage where. Uh, it, Luigi might, die, might, not, might not die, we could see the, the comeback start to happen. Right. Two stocks is all he needs here. Two stocks is indeed all he needs to even it up. Right? No. Yeah, yeah he's evened it up. If, 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 assuming he doesn't lose a stock, two stocks. Right, 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 right. Uh, Money. All right, hand warmers are indeed over. Um, Kuhn. Trying to extend the lead for Carlton University. Monib trying to deal some damage to Carlton University and even it up. So things are looking pretty interesting right now. Ryerson looking pretty quiet, but this could be the morale boost we need. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here at final destination. We are going to get the crew battle continuing underway. That was the loudest uh, countdown ever because it's uh Oh my goodness, Monib looking like he's well versed in this matchup. He may have practice against Toast, who has plays plays Peach. Toast is a former Ryerson student who no longer plays, but he's definitely a really great Peach player. Amazing time. Peach player. He's uh, trained with Herbie Kaze and uh, in the upper echelon of Toronto. Monib with an Amazingly quick lead at 114%. Could be, uh, wants to translate it into a kill. Hopefully not give up any more stocks. Carlton University looking like they want to take the win here. Taking the stock off Monib. Now they're both at kill percentage. This could look uh, quite dangerous. Goes for the kick, goes for the neutral nice air. There. Monib takes it. Monib wants to clean up these stocks without taking any more damage and perhaps even a stock. But Carlton University's Kuhn wants to close up the stock and uh, further the lead deficit. Um, both these characters both have a, a, a scent of RNG. Uh, Munib with the, with the misfires and Peach with a uh, any kind of whatever they pull out. Ooh, goes for the turn it flat, but the TI from Monib stay, keeps him alive. He says, no, thank you, sir. He will keep it alive. Oh, but the back air, will it keep it alive? Monib is still, still alive. Monib literally wants to stay alive. He wants to keep Ryerson in this as much as possible. Goes for the thing, goes for the dip, but the Mary Poppins keeps him alive, goes for the fair, and that's a stock for Ryerson. It. Monib definitely not shook from this. He knows that it was, uh, it was a clean stock, but he definitely has a percent lead. He definitely doesn't, he wants to look out for, uh, he wants to take these trades, even though uh, Peach is known for their trades, and Kuhn doing his best to keep these trades um, under wraps because he knows Close that he's definitely going to just miss it, unfortunately. Sure, you can miss it, but the dab hits it. The Smash Brothers dab gets Haste it in. Luigi dab. Good job, dude. So now Munib wants to close out the stock to stop the bleeding because he definitely could storm on whoever is next, uh, whoever he feels like. Um, Peach wants to deal more damage, and uh, Kuhn looking like he Great oh, my goodness. there. That was a nice string right there. Kuhn trying to fight back to get on stage to Mary Poppins to survive it. Goes for the blender, but will not hit. Whips the grab, but Monique also misses his Shoryuken. All right, Monique. Oh, my goodness, Monique trying to... Okay, he still has a jump. Goes for a dare. Monique trying to pepper up percentages, trying to get him with the jump. Gets a dab, nice. and gets a kill. Excellent job. Really well done there by both players. And Excellent just like, job. like we were saying, when he came in, he wants to stabilize this game. He wants to show Ryerson that you don't need to worry. We're still in the game. He wants to show that Ryerson is still in it, still has fight in them left. And as we saw there, we went from 8-11 to 8-7 now. Absolutely. Yeah, that's really well deficit. done. Deficit not looking too much too big anymore. But, uh, yeah. Excellent job from Monib. Uh, excellent job from Kuhn. Uh, doing his job, taking an extra stock, putting Carlton in the lead right now. All right, so now we have Sunrise Banana heading in. Now. Sunrise Banana, um, I believe he plays uh, Fox. Checking out his controller, looking for any... Uh, this isn't my controller, he says. It's not my oh, controller. Oh, this is not my controller. Oh, oh, no, he doesn't. That is a bit of a problem there, of Ladies course. and gentlemen, from your Sunrise Banana 2018, this is not his controller. Monib. Can we switch to the game screen, he says. I we can hear the players, too. I think that's nice. Uh, Sunrise Banana. 
wants to swap controllers, although they're both gray, so I really don't see the difference. I'm joking. No, there's definitely <laughs> I was, I was there's, like, defi um, <laughs> there's definitely a difference. You, you definitely, definitely triggered at least ten people in the chat with that one. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Just do it, just do it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Anyways, um, Monib looking calm and composed, putting on his tunes. I'm, I'm wondering. I'm, I'm wondering what Monib listens to. Dreamland. <laughs> Forever Dreamland. Uh, you think he's listening? I think he's, he's listening. Mean, it's, just, it's just Dreamland bass boosted remake. <laughs> oh my goodness! Just blasting in his ear. Oh I thought he was listening to Dragon Ball Z, like Bruce Falconer. Oh yeah, yeah Original yeah. Dragon Ball Z music, like. Hachala, Hachala. Oh my god. Oh my goodness! Just the uh, Super Saiyan power up Gohan theme. Oh man, Ryerson still trying to fight, still got smiles on their face, know that this is double elimination, but they don't want to fall back on that because double elimination sucks uh, if uh, you're 0-2, because loser side means you got to go for that young grind. Monib rocking M-God, of course. Um, Monib very well versed in the uh, Spacey's matchup. He knows full well that Excuse me. He knows full well that Ryerson has a lot of... doesn't have quite a few foxes. You have a lot of sheiks, though. Oddly enough, Carlton University doesn't have too many sheiks. Uh, not sheiks that I know of. Uh, so far, we've seen a fox. A, peach. a fox. Peach. And that's it. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Monib trying to... Uh, when he does eat spaces for breakfast, yeah, he's he, definitely he's, he's done really well. He's faced he's, he's faced Platt Platt. consistently, a really great spaces main. He, he faces Vion X, Rain X, almost like not regular bases, but he's definitely fought high echelon with well, Toronto's upper echelon of foxes. So we'll see what right, so this, this is, Banana this is can really going to be the backbreaking. Uh, uh, this is do or die. Here. This is basically do or die for Ryerson because. Oh my goodness, we, uh, if Sunrise Banana does not know the Luigi matchup, this could be a problem for uh, Carlton. Because Monib knows the ins and outs of the Spaces matchup, as a lot of players do. Oh, he goes for the little tittle with a walk. Goes for the up throw, goes for the down tilt, and that's it. Ryerson University, oh, goes for the center touch. Oh my goodness. Ryerson University is now back 7-7. Seven, seven. Stocks ease it out. Monib, the anchor, the ace of the Ryerson University, trying to bring it back. Great shield pressure by Fox. They're trying to get some more percentage out here. Sunrise Banana trying to make a fight, trying to put it back. But if he's, like we said earlier, if he's unknown about the Luigi matchup, this could be a problem. Garcia University screaming their lungs out because they know that they need the ace just brought it back. Oh my goodness, three up tilts. Crazy Uncle stuff from Adam Monib right now. Amazing down tilt. Monib is in the zone right now. He is focused, absolutely 100% locked in. Sunrise oh, Banana. The taunt, the, the taunt, taunt once again. Disrespect. Trying to disrespect Sunrise Banana and his crew called from diversity. Sunrise Banana trying to make a trying to make a clawback. But Monib just <laughs> they got the Ryerson chance from the Ryerson boys. Monib trying to make it back. He does make it back. He does nice not get there. Pokemon. He doesn't get, he doesn't get Pokemon Stadium. The rocks the do not rock him out. Oh, the up smash, the desperate up smash from Carlton. Sunrise Banana trying to close out the stock. Luigi is in kill percentage, but oh, and up to. But Monib does have excellent DI. Gets the side. Beat. Oh, goes for the bumper. That was an excellent transition. Gets the stage. Oh, oh unfortunate. Oh my goodness. He tried to ledge back, ledge yeah. back to the stage when he just Monib, needed to roll. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, Fox definitely ninja the stuffing out of that ledge grab. But Monib closing it out with sure you can go for another taunt. Monib definitely. Definitely doesn't want to make another mistake like that. He doesn't want to give too much respect. But Sunrise Banana clawing his way back. Oh my goodness. Goes for the nice pressure. Ledges in Pokemon Stadium are absolutely the worst because you can't see. But uh, Mercy University taking any opportunity to rub salt to uh, tilt the Carlton players. But the Carlton players keeping composure. Gets a nice shine. Goes for the double grabs. Goes for the shine. Goes for the up touch. Goes for the up tilt. Both characters in respective kill percentages. Oh, misses the up dab. Or up smash. The up dab. I mean, it technically is. Up throw into up air. Sure, you can ghost for the 
no time. Really clean, and as we saw, Burr, Monib came in, we told you, he's gonna try to flip, flip this game around. He's gonna and now it's five, switch. sorry, it's four, six now. He wants to turn the tables on Carlton University, da dealing with their own damage. Their final, uh, excuse me, Carlton University's final player up against two of Monib's stocks and Brett's Samus. Monib going for the blue Samus. The blue Samus. The blue Luigi. The blue Luigi. He's a very super comfort pick. Another spacey. Now, this is a comfortable pick uh, for Brett, as he will be our anchor with Samus. But Monib wants to deal all the damage he can right here, right now, and uh, try to end it. Uh, Carlton's final character, final player, uh, their anchor, Vic. Uh, I wonder if he's well versed in the Luigi matchup. Do you think so? I believe he's too annoyed for that. All right, the goes from. Oh my goodness, we got dirty blood on the word go. Both players trying to fight for stage chain of control. But Monique just moving all over Vic. Vic well, trying I mean, to find some. Yeah, as we know, obviously, that. Money was extremely good at that spacing matchups. Right. Ooh, nice goes, that was a nice power shift for Monib. Monib is definitely in the zone. I know I'm milking a lot of Varison, but like... <laughs> All right. Vic... Okay, let's look for Vic's perspective. Vic definitely wants to close out these stocks from Monib, but oh, Monib takes another stock. Nice stage spike there. That stage spike. He does not get the attack. Randall helping out like a, a homie, I guess. Get this edge guard. He needs to get this edge guard. He needs really to get bad. this edge guard. Nice. Yeah. Really clean. That was a nice clean edge guard. Oh, the tea bag. The tea bag. Yeah. Vic goes for the tea bag. Now, see, Vic's got to do the same thing. He's got to, he's got to get his boys back remember, on behind him. Remember what you did. So, Monib. Um, oh, my goodness. Great read on the get him attack. The crazy thing. Okay. So, Vic trying to claw back. Uh, he needs to clean up this one stock, but Monib is stuffing him at every opportunity. Now that kill percentage goes with a dab read. Oh my goodness, Monib. Amazing. Oh my god, the read. Read him like a textbook. Vic is lost. Where did you go? Oh my goodness. Monib. Libraries are closed on Sundays, my guy. Libraries are closed on Sundays. Monib read. He stomped in. He broke through the doors. The assault and battery and just said, I'm reading you anyways. Oh my goodness. Vic trying to claw it back though. He's definitely at kill percentage at this stage, but Moni does not want to give any more quarters. He goes for this. My goodness. Garson definitely got a kill out of that. Shield forever. Moni's, uh, Moni needs to be super on point here. His DI needs to be godly, which he wants to be because he is rocking M God tag. Nice spacing right there by Falco. Knocking him back. Nice oh, back nice back really coverage. Back and that's two to four for Ryerson. Uh, Vic closing out Monib's stocks. Monib, I think, wanted to finish it off, but now we leave it in the hands of our final player and anchor, Brett. Brett, our Ooh. Samus player. Our resident Samus player. And uh, this is something that's really interesting. We don't know how well Vic knows the Samus matchup. Not that's only right. that, but remember, Brett gets to choose a stage. This is all really key information here. Yep. So Ryerson's final player against Carlton's final player. Definitely more need, evened it out and even extended what damage Shifu did. Indeed, indeed. And, and, and like we said, uh, when he was really great in these crew out situations, got a lot of the favor back to, uh, to Ryerson. Kept carrying us forward on that as well. <laughs> shout outs to, shout outs to Wuso. He says he can, his heart can't take it. It's very heart wrenching. This is uh, definitely a high stakes, high pressure situation. Um, Brett all, Brett all smiles, though. He, all he, smiles, all, all, all smiles. All of them are all smiles. This yep. is a friendly competition. This is a nice, uh, wholesome competition as a... Uh, yep. So Brett at two stocks. He goes, Brett goes for the counter pick here. I kind of like it because high ceiling keeps Samus alive. No, Samus will be living to eternity on this stage. <laughs> and uh, the recovery for Falco here is aren't too, uh, aren't too strong. But we got hand warmers right now. This is... Um, this is looking like the final fight. This is uh, the final battle. This is the well. It does. It's double elimination. So teams are not 100% out yet, but their chances of making it to, I believe, Chicago. Is I it Chicago? So. Detroit, Chicago. I can't remember exactly. I'm sorry. Uh, oh, we got to grab off the super. Uh, oh, the super the, wave the wave teabagging. What a hero, Vic. 
Vic is uh, feeling himself definitely. Uh, cut the hand warmers a, a quick, a bit short, but this is it. This is the final set between Ryerson University and Carlton University. Uh, is Vic well versed in the Samus matchup? We shall see. All right, here it goes. Final right. sets here. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. We got the final countdown for Ryerson versus Carlton. We're looking to see some lasers from Vic, yep, because Samus does not know how to pressure those. Goes for the nice upbeat, the morph ball hit. Brett trying to close out the distance so he can do some damage, but lasers definitely is one of Samus's. Uh, Maybe just remember, she needs time to ready those projectiles. She can't just throw them out just as easily as Falco can. Yep. No, oddly enough, being a space uh, warrior, she can't deal with laser uh, Falco's lasers for some reason. Uh, trying to charge that neutral. Yeah, getting, getting some charges in there when she can. Remember, whenever she can, she wants to go for these. Oh, spot dodge the grab. Unfortunately, the grapple hook does not uh, land. Carlton University, they're both eager in stocks, but so far, Vic has the percentage lead. But Brett has two chances of breathing room. Brett has two chances at life right here, basically. And it's important to remember that Samus is a character who succeeds really well by while, while she's ahead, right? Right. She can keep crouch canceling forever and keep making these trades, knowing that she's eventually going to win. Yeah. This is uh, more of a stall battle for Brett and more of a rush battle for Vic. And that's an excellent right dumpster. There. Excellent dumpster stock for Vic. Vic definitely bringing life back to, well, Carlton. reviving the life back to Carlson University, giving them hope. Brett wanting to add on more percentage, but not want to give up any more. He wants to definitely take a stock here. Ooh. Nice back air. Nice back air from, from Brett. Nice, nice forward smash. smash. This is it. This is the final life for right, Carlton Vic University. Vic is going to have to play this seamlessly. He needs to play immaculately in order to get this back. But Brett just wants to... Ooh. And that's, that'll do it. That is exactly what he wants here. That's exactly what he wants. He wants a nice, solid... Uh, what is that called? Not down air. Uh, Dare? No, no, no. It's, there's a term for it. A dumpster? No, no, no. Not the dump. No, I, I, no, no, no. Uh, it's like... Kill move. No. no. Die move. No. I'll come back to it. But anyways, he did that. That's what he wants. He wants more cheese stocks like that. Yeah, there's quick ways and stocks. Come on, I can't Especially remember. on this stage, the life of where Samus can live it. forever, he needs to go for those really risky yeah. dares. It's do or die, last stop. This is indeed do or die for uh, Vic, and if Brett isn't careful. Oh, goes for the double. Oh, goes for his own dumpster of his own. Oh, my goodness. Sends it round on him. Oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. No, no. Oh, no no wall jump. Nothing down there. Last oh stop situation. Last stop situation. Both characters. Oh, oh nice there. Gets the lasers. Goes for the grab. Oh, that's that's it. it. Oh, my goodness. And that will do it. Brett closes it out. Ladies Vic and gentlemen. So well. Ryerson University, by the skin of their teeth, edges it out against Carlton. Yeah, mad respect to Carlton. They mad had so, respect. So yeah. many players did extremely well in very high-risk situations. Absolutely. Shifu bringing it back from their initial loss and starting to carry them towards a lead. Vic right there almost came back and almost went in front of them back then, too. Vic was this close. He wanted more cheese stocks. He got two, which is a dream come true. Well, especially for, against Samus. Samus yeah. on FOD. Like, it's, it's something that's actually pretty incredible. Yeah. That their character lives for eternity. But uh, Brett closes it out by the skin of their teeth. Ryerson survives. Oh, my goodness. That was too close for comfort. Monib, uh, we got smiles on Ryerson, smiles yeah, for Carlton. Yeah, Carl Carlton and Ryerson are all talking to each other. Smoking it's it. Absolutely incredible absolutely set. Absolutely, just evening it out. But Carlton's still not out of it yet. They're sent to losers. Ryerson's sent to winners off to set to fight Waterloo, apparently. Yeah, and I'm really excited to see more of Carlton as well. They did extremely well. Uh, yep. Shifu especially, it really impressed me. Shifu definitely paid uh, close attention to some of the matches. Um, Shifu definitely uh, did the most damage to Ryerson, and he definitely um, well, like, injured our players. Exactly. Like, well, it came back, came back from a situation where, where we, he was already losing. Yep. He, he had to take that stock, and it was neutral, like one hit anywhere would, would end it. And he managed to get it, and then it evened it out. Then he pr pr proceeded to keep going with that lead and, and managed to, to put us in a bad situation. So pretty impressive. Pretty impressive stuff. And even Vic, like, like I said, like taking taking uh, three stocks off of Samus on FOD when you only have two is pretty good, damn good. That's pretty amazing. Off the wall amazing. Absolutely. And then not to mention all the other great plays from Ryerson students as well. Yeah. Monib, Monib's absolutely incredible reads. Some other great stuff that also happened in that match. I'm going to take a breather. There's iced tea, by the way. It's not beer. Not alcohol. I don't drink. He has Coke. Anyways. Uh...
Thank you, thank you. Uh, so we are taking a quick break. We're going to run it back with our next set. Um, so uh, let's talk. Let's go back to that uh, peach tier color. Let's go to let's go tier. Let's talk about tier colors. Tier colors. Okay. Uh, sure. Let's start with uh, peach. Peach. Uh, bottom and top. So bottom is Daisy. Daisy. Because yeah. she's she's not even on the tier list. Not even. The, not even a character. Can't even pick her on the character. She's slide. not even a character. Not, a not character. even on the tier list. Mm. Garbage. I agree. Uh, next would be green. Yeah, I'm not a fan of green. I I don't think it suits her blonde hair green? very well. Green does look. Green does look like it's um. It's like uh. It's like she got dirt. She's rolling on the grass too much, having too much fun in the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh my God! All rolling right. in dirt. Now, uh, on on the other side of things, though, I do think the blue suits her well. So I think I'll put blue. Blue does blue let. I think, I think blue brings third. out her eyes. You know. I think blue's third, and then I think second. Because contrast to her nice, uh, creamy skin. You know, <laughs> it's uh, it, it contrasts. Oh my God! It has Get the contrast. Uh, second, I'd personally put default. Armada's pink, yeah. Default. Armada's pink. <laughs> Armada's pink, not Nintendo's pink. No, it's just Armada's now. <laughs> oh, okay. Nintendo, what? They made it for Armada. Uh, but yeah. Oh, sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll be right back with our next set coming to you soon. See you there. Peace. <laughs> 